Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Chaos Theory in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Oh, okay, that was a weird sound of a dinosaur. And, well, anyway, before I was interrupted by that weird sound of a dino, we are doing Jurassic Park 3, probably the most controversial of all of these because, well, it's like the movie. Apparently, it's really, really bad. Which, I haven't actually seen it yet. I've been specifically trying not to look at any playthroughs of both Isla Sorna and Return to Isla Nublar. Because they were the ones I was originally most interested in. But, you know, reading the description, I can see why it's not really a good what if. Because, uh, well, let's read it. Go to Isla Sorna and capture the dinosaurs that Mizrani needs to start the construction of Jurassic World. Which isn't really a what-if situation because that's what actually happened in the franchise. D between the events of Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World, Mizrani was taking dinosaurs off of Isla Sorna and bringing them to Isla Nublar for Jurassic World. For a lot of reasons, mainly because dinosaurs were being poached there and there was no way he could protect them on Sorna. But anyway, I think we're just going to begin with the third of the Chaos Theories. Predictable, curious, greedy. These intruders caused more chaos than anyone could have imagined. In the time we'd been away, people had gone from caretakers to threat. Simon Mizrani wanted to realize John Hammond's vision. Bigger, grander, more ambitious than the original. The dinosaurs have their own ambitions. To hunt, to feed carve out their niche in this strange new world. Let's see how things play out when we add you to the mix. Try not to get in their way. You might be destined to repeat the past. And there it is. And I do like the sh I love the shots in this. They look so good. And also, it's interesting because this rapture shot is basically from the third movie, except it's turn the other way because it was the other direction which is interesting all major theme parks have delays well nothing worked in disneyland well yeah 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 but except they don't eat the pirates don't eat you john these guys do and it's oh wait can't continue oh brachiosaurus this is where all the excitement happened. oh no those are mementiosaurus simply amazing and here oh who's that in addition to capturing the dinosaurs, which will serve as a... Uh, what are Aranosaurus doing? Because I believe in the science. Wait, this is Ms. Ronnie? Results, can't you, Dr. Wu? Of course I can do it. <laughs> That's the will we know. ...considerable effort and resources to get the science back to where it was. And you will be well compensated for your efforts. Of course, I demand results. And you will have them. Okay, so that's supposed to be the voice for Mizrani. Well, it's not really great, unfortunately. Oh, yep, she's back. Good old Lily. Oh, there's the airport. Now, where's an aviary? Oh. With this island and the dinosaurs, I have the greatest toy set imaginable. I want that joy, that excitement I had as a child. I wanted to be. Why can I barely see anyone. anything? You. Why are Aranosaurus here? They weren't even in the. They weren't even on Isosorna. Goddamn Camp Cretaceous! Why'd you do that? Okay. Okay, so we need a control center. Dinosaurs. This is my investment in the vision and in my people. Please don't let me get in the way. If you get in my way, I'll I'll deal with. So that's the whose voice. I uh, I gotta say, like they didn't succeed in making it sound like uh, it's terrible, guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, Frontier, but. 
whoever's doing the Mizrani impression. I know the actor who voiced him sadly died of cancer last year in 2020. 2020, sorry, not 2022. But uh, it's it's unfortunate, but still. Okay, we need to get power. But they could have done better for the voice from Mizrani. It doesn't sound anything like him. Lovely creature, until it smacks you with its club. Okay, so I know... So basically, I've heard that all you do is basically... You get a dinosaur, and then all you do is literally put it in an enclosure, make it happy, and then you sort of sell it. So I'm going to make the biggest enclosure possible. That way, for like, if we go for Brachiosaurus, Mementiosaurus, we'll need the biggest enclosure possible. Like, let's see, how big... Oh my god, that's most of the space. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look first, because it's going to be short. So first of all, oh no, those are Stegosaurus. And why are there, and why are there, gig oh my god, they are so tiny now, wow. I've never gotten to see, like, these guys up together, which we need to do a battle royale, because finally, guys, after, what, almost two months of the game being out, I finally have all the dinosaurs. I j literally, just before recording this, I was just doing some free play just to get the last few dinosaurs. I think I had just Carithosaurus and Syntatosaurus on South Southwest America, I think it was, that you get them. The desert one with all those canyons, which is a lovely location, I must say. It's really going to be a challenge to build there, but... Those were the last two, and I got them, and it's so good. Finally, I can do showcase videos, even though it's not really needed, but there are some things I want to do for that. And, wow, they the Stekos are huge in comparison. They I remember in the first game, they were all the same size. It was weird. But also, where's a ran where is it? There's a Ranosaurus nearby. Where were they? There they are. What are you guys doing here? Like, ugh. Camp Cretaceous, I, I like Camp Cretaceous, but why'd they introduce two dinosaurs that were not even in the list of Mizrani's list, Injun's list? Like, they have like dozens, and I mean dozens of dinosaurs. They got like Proceratosaurus, Mo not Monolophosaurus, um, Lesothosaurus, or Metricanthosaurus, Suchomimus, so many different dinosaurs they could have gone with that we haven't gotten to see, but no, they just decide, you know what, let's just take dinosaurs that aren't even on the list. It It's so weird. And the weirdest thing is, U Universal approved of them. Okay, so we need to get the uh, Ankylosaurus first. And so, also, we didn't even get a look at the... Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just pause again, because I need to take a look. So this is the airport, which... Can we go into capture mode and get closer? Yes, we can. Let's take a good look. Is it right? There's the um, little buildings, a lot cleaner than it should be, with some barrels around. Very nice. Goes straight up. There wasn't any forest unless... Which way were they going? Were they going this way or that? I think they were going that way, so there, would, there wouldn't be this mountain there, so that's incorrect. It'd be better if they were going this direction, because yes, there is a cliff, but it works better. And I saw some white fragments, which, are those plain pieces? Yes, they are, which, this was nowhere near the, where the, it was. But, we need to go up, because there was something else that I had seen. Where was it? There it is. There it is. That is the Site B, um, the Jurassic Park 3 version of the, um, Amalgam testing facility. I believe that's what it was. It wasn't um, the worker village from the Lost World, which is unfortunate. I would love to have seen that, and I mean, that doesn't look great. There's not like any detail on this. It's lit. God, that just looks horrendous to look at. Like they could have done more detail, but you know, it's supposed to be a background piece. So I'm not going to complain too much. I'm glad it's there. It's a nice thing. I wonder if in Sandbox we'll be able to build around it or stuff. Will it be like a... Or will it just be a background piece? Same with the airport. But let's, um... 
let's go. We need to get the Ankylosaurus, which is right around there. Helicopter, let's go. I'm glad you're still in the air. So, Ankylosaurus first. And it looks like we only have one, which, well, this will be easy. We'll shoot her. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's the Stegos and... Oh my god, like, look at them. They look like little tiny... They're, like, smaller than the lake. That's... That is so weird to me now. Like, they were they were the same size in the first game, but now they're completely opposite. And I really do like that. And I'll have to check, like, all the other Stegosaurids with Stegosaurus. Because I know Stegosaurus is the biggest. Alright, so in Kylosaurus, you'll probably need lots of stuff. Let's actually... We'll do an ingenious thing. We'll pause, and then we'll go ground leaf here. Like this section, this is the ground leaf. Anyone who wants ground leaf, they can go over here. And I thought that was a dinosaur in there. Then over here is going to be the ground fiber right by the water. Nothing too fancy. And then, well, actually, no. We'll just replace it with this right there. And then more leaf over here for, you know, the sauropods. And then we'll need some fruit, which can go over here. And then that's the nuts. And then right in the corner, I know a lot of things need sand. So we'll just put a lot of sand right here. And, you know, the sand looks a lot better than it did in the first game. Like, everybody didn't really like the sand because it wasn't really a proper sand. It was, like, too white. Looked like it was trying to be a mix of snow and sand. But now in this game, it looks definitely proper and for the tropical. It works. There we go. That should make it happy for every single dinosaur that we put in here. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, he is moving. Come on, bring him in. We'll name him Billy Boy. Billy Boy the Ankylosaurus. Now, can we find... Uh, I can't find anything. Oh, there is something over there. Something big. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... Hold on. There's something by the water. I can't tell what it is. It looks... Oh, no, those are paras, I think. Okay. Ankylosaurus captured. While this is a Ranger. Effort, I'm sure you understand that my vision carries some weight. Okay, so ranger posts within the enclosure. Post constructed, and then a team assigned to it. From there, they can perform status checks on the animals. I think we will need a paleo med where is it? Paleo medical facility. Can we research that right now? Operational Science Center. Okay, so we'll I guess we'll put the science center first. Because there's probably going to be something that's, like, sick. We'll need it. Let's, ju let's just get everything, you know, before. We can we can break the system, you know. We're going to be mad scientists, damn it. And then research the paleomedical facility. Uh, it's right here, I believe. Yep, right there. There we go. Sign you. And let's go. Now, perform status check on the Ankylosaurus. Oh yeah, we need a gate. That that would help, I think. Right here. And then, add task. Go and check him out. How's he doing? He, sh he should be fine. Like, I literally put everything that we can for them to be comfortable. Now, the Paleo Medical Facility. We'll turn that around. Is your Ankylosaurus happy? Oh wow, that was a... Yep, he's happy, all right. <laughs> I'm a genius. Ensure that... Ah, we need a viewing tower. Let's, uh... We'll put one right in the middle. Wells once said this was about a movie studio. He said that it was the biggest electric train set a boy ever had. Of course, he never had dinosaurs. Yes. Make sure we can see and monitor okay, we can see him. Build a viewing platform, will you? I'll build a few, my dear. Let's run. Okay, we'll build this one here too because that. 
Okay, so we need to. Okay, so we need to send them away. These animals to the holding facility offsite. Yep, gotcha. Enclosure is ready. We can bring them to. That was quick. So is that going to be all we do? Just like literally make them comfortable and then once you're comfortable Ankylosaurus, you get to be shipped off somewhere else where you won't be comfortable. Don't you love it? Because you were technically already comfortable outside in the wilds of Isla Sorna, but no, we, we're just going to kick you out, you know, just because we, we want to make you happy. God, we're terrible people. Stegosaurus. Oh, of course. We need to capture several dinosaurs of the same species and get them back under our control. Captain? There is no such thing. Did you learn nothing, man? No wonder Jurassic World fell. No wonder Jurassic World fell. There's no such thing as control. We'll take the sleeping one first. Even though, couldn't we already transport him? Oh. And, oh, nope, he's getting away. Fine. We'll go for you, because you're right there. Fire. Fire. Got him. And where's the other one? There's... There he is. I've got her. I think. Think she... Oh, nope. And why is there a T-Rex going on in the background? There's no T-Rexes right now. Oh, stay still, Stego. Yeah, do you guys not hear that? Uh, it's one of those glitch... It's a weird thing that's going on with this game, like... Okay, stay... Nope, stay still, stop waddling around. Come on, I'll take your baby, too. There we go, we got you. And then we'll just move you all right into the center. And... You, and then, and also guys, I got a question for you, since you've all probably seen and done Chaos Theory and stuff, because, you know, you guys have all the time in the world, God forbid I get time in life, but you guys have seen all the openings for Chaos Theory mode, which one's your favorite and stuff? For the ones I've seen, I've seen the Jurassic World one, I've seen, well, the first three, the only one I haven't seen at this point is Fallen Kingdom, so... Right now, my favorite's probably gotta be... Probably gotta be either Jurassic Park or... Well, I haven't seen Jurassic Worlds in a while, so I might put that higher, but... I really do like Jurassic Park 3's, actually. It really does look interesting. Just, unfortunately, the story for this is, like, like the movie, really, really bad. Because, like, honestly, I should have... We should have all expected this for Jurassic Park 3. Like, there's no... What can you do for a what-if scenario in a park builder for that? Like, you can't do anything. Okay, let's, um... Perform a status check on all of you lovely stegos. Let's just make sure you're all good and fun tubby dozy. How you doing? Missing ground... What? No, you're not. There you go. Nailed it. Now what? I just don't have the time to do so as much as I'd like. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's why I have you. Be my eyes and monitor these animals. Well, that was quick. Yeah, see, that's all we're doing, which... Uh, I, I really want to enjoy this, guys, but these I'm already... I'm already bored. Come on, what's it going to be? Ceratosaurus? Gallimimus? T-Rex? No. Ooh, Ceratosaurus. I was one, it was one of the ones I was right about. Of course, and we'll need to get meat. I need a good old burger of flesh. You know, humans would do fine. Do we got any humans for this guy? He's probably hungry. Now, hopefully there's no poop around him because, you know, he's trying to go away from the poop gags. Oh, stay there. Oh, oh, that's a love. That's a cute animation of him itching. Stay still. Come on, one more. There you go. Add a boy or a girl, you know. I don't know. So how big is this map? Like, it looks to me like we get this little space here, plus this one. And maybe some more over here, like, because it is flat around here. So, we could actually be building over there, like, 
in sandbox. I don't know. I'm thinking about using this for um, the Biological Preserve series when we do do that, because I know a lot of you people still want me to do that, which we will, guys. We will do it as soon as I do, like, a few other videos. I want to do a Battle Royale first, and I might do a different sandbox series first, because I want to use all of, like, the tools and stuff first. Depending. I'll probably put a vote thing on, and, like, you know, just be like, hey, which one do you want me to do? Do you want me to do this, or do you want me to do this first? Yep, yep, they're going. Ah, missing... F right, I forgot the meat. Yep, yep, run! Ooh, let's take a look at this. I haven't really seen this version of the Ceratosaurus. Are there any changes? Well, the pink is definitely lighter. This dinosaur isn't responding as we'd hoped. It'll need the resources that are available at our paleo medical facility. Why, what did you do? Did you eat some of the poop? Goddamn, Ceratosaurus, you had one job, not to deal with the poop. So what's up with you? Oh, got a major fracture. Thrill of the hunt without the guilt of the kill. That's our mission. Tranquilize this dinosaur. And then we'll get it the best treatment my money can buy at the Paleo Medical Facility. You mean me? Because I own this, mister. This is my Ceratosaurus now. His name will be... Jim. Yeah, 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 we'll sign a staff member. As soon as I can. We need another one. Huh. Of course, we don't have enough scientists. You know, Mizrani, you're so rich, but you only have one scientist and they can't even do what we need them to do. Seems practical. We'll get this lady because she's got everything we need. So, let's go with you and you will fix this scientist and make sure that this is done. So, let's go. Come on, finish it up. Come on, double time it. God, there's nothing to do, like, literally, I can only look in this little area unless I go into capture mode, but then that's going to pause everything here. I'm pretty sure, because, like, even it, I've seen that, like, it pauses everything, like, look, I can see Triceratops over there, Mementiosaurus, I don't see any Brachiosaurus. Yep, let's move them back. Yeah, well, first we need to put them right in here. And then once he's done, we're going to get ready to tranquilize him. For five seconds before we take... Like, like what's the point of them saying that? We're, we're making them comfortable, and then we're instantly ripping them out of this. Like, realistically, they're all comfortable-ish. I mean... Wait, nope, not yet. Let's just wait for the time thing. 90% what's wrong? What are you missing? You need forest and open space. Well, first of all, you kind of need to move in order to f get it. So, hurry up and wake up. Get out of bed. Come on. It's daytime. Let's go. You already had a big nap. Come on. Wake up. Let's go. Move around and be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Come on, please. Okay, guys. He's starting to spread out. I am literally on standby for as soon as the 15 seconds are up. Yep, there we go. Where is he? Let's get ready to tranquilize him. And are we going? Yep. <laughs> I already know. Like. <sighs> yeah, let's put him into a place where he's definitely not going to be happy. That's a smart idea. Like. <sighs> I, I don't get this campaign. Like. Like, honestly, it's worse than the movie. Because <laughs> at least there. There's more interest. Whoa, 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 wait, Spinosaurus! Oh, now you're talking. Wait, oh, all the raptors are going after him! Oh, what? 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 Huh? Get, get, get back here, you raptors! Oh, the female is there! But... He, he's, he's dead. 
I'll send a team to collect what we can before the scavengers pick over the carcass. Collect the body. I have plans for it. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, well, first of all, it's a cool reference, I must say, to a deleted concept from Jurassic Park 3, because for those who didn't know, Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus was supposed to actually be killed by a pack of, like, what was it, 20 raptors? And, like, instead of, like, being scared off by fire, Alan Grant was going to call a bunch of raptors using the resonating chamber. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Like, I know it was going to be killed by raptors instead of, like, you know, surviving, which... That's a cool reference, but come on. Seriously? That was the last part where it's like, I've got plans for it. This isn't even the same Spinosaurus as that one. Come on, raptors. Now let's, hold on, let's, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that's the new animation for the raptors, which, let's take a look at these guys. How do they look? Well, uh, wait, what? Um, I've already found a problem. Where are his quills? Um, uh, and also, where are his teeth? Where's his teeth? Oh my god, I want to make that the thumbnail so bad. Raptor's missing teeth! Like his, look at his, all his teeth are gone. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, like Jurassic Park 3, this is a poor quality. Like, it's missing its quills, it's missing its teeth, which, how do you do that? And, imagine the female had quills and stuff, I'd be like, seriously? And she's even missing her bottom teeth, look! What the hell's going on? Oh my god, oh, Jesus. Okay, that, oh my, well, okay. We're expanding our reach throughout the island. This means more opportunities to capture more dinosaurs. Get off me! Oh wait, nope, I've gotta deal with Triceratops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no wonder everybody said they did the Spinosaurus dirty. Like, the reference is cool, don't get me wrong, but I would have loved if, like, instead, like, while you were doing this... Okay, where am I supposed to go? I, I can't get to them. So, that was strange, like, I don't know how I feel about that now. Like, it's a cool reference, but like, seriously, all that was for was we got to see the Spinosaurus. Oh, speaking of which, hello, raptors! Oh, don't go into the long grass! Wait, did I just phase the room? Hold on. Smile, you son of a- Nope. Oh, well, I can- Oh, I squished his tail. Unreal, like- that was, well, I, good thing Camp Cretaceous brought the Spinosaurus back, otherwise, well, this could technically be canon. All right, let's, um. How you doing? How, how are you lonely? There, there's a, there's a whole herd right here. I'm, I'm sending you to do it. But, how is he lonely? These guys don't exist. They are not Triceratops. Okay, so this is... Whoa. Nope, there's more space. Let's see over here. Ah, there's the Brachiosaurus. And it's the JP3 version, which... I like how they use their own models for it instead. And, this time, it like in the first game, it's not creepy looking like it, as long as it doesn't do that smile thing. Ugh, oh, nightmares. Are there any other dinosaurs here? Like, I don't see any. I see these guys... Are there any stego- Oh wait, no. Anything here? Hello? This is definitely a trap. Something could jump out at me. Okay, I don't see anything here. What about galleys or paras? Something. Wait. Nope, that's a packy. Alright, well, I can't see anything else. There's the triceratops and the packies over here. So... I'm thinking, yeah, guys, we will probably end up doing our biological preserve either here or on Nublar. I don't know. This isn't really that big. Ah, oh, there's some Carithosaurus, and some Paras, and there's some Gallimimus, and a lovely Mementiosaurus. 
Oh, look at them. They do move in herds. Hold on, you could put- you could seriously put the Great Valley music on. Hold on. Editing Austin. Cue the music. Da 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 Or something like that, you know. Now, if they r r run in the herd and stuff- wait, wait. There you go, he should be- Uh... Guys, he is enclosed. Okay, what is up? I think the game just glitched. I'm pretty sure it just glitched. How's the power? Okay, we're fine. Okay, status check th this guy. Okay, there we go. He is in here. Now, what do you need? You need more force, but you are going towards it, so you should be fine. Population, you'll need more. But there's nothing I can do for that. Oh, come on, dude. Get near some forest. Okay, there we go. He is just above the comfort, and we'll get ready to tranquilize him. So, well, th there goes the spine. I, I still can't believe it. You just, you cut to see the Spinosaurus, and it's like, oh, it's dead. Let's put it on display in Jurassic World, which also just increases my rage that we don't have the Spinosaurus skeleton as a decoration. Also, one of the weirdest things that I notice is apparently we don't have, um... Jurassic World signs in, like, Jurassic World era. Like, honestly, all they have to do is take the ones from Jurassic Park era, but change it from red to blue and the black to white. I don't know, that's just me. Alright, so there you go. We'll send him off, and then we'll just g get ready by the helicopter to... Nope, we need to keep it on three speed. And then once it's gone, we'll see what else we have to get. What's next? Brachiosaur- Oh god. Well, well good god, thankfully for you, I'm gonna get them. Oh my god, how am I supposed to- It's Nightman! How am I supposed to get them? Okay, well first of all, we'll cut this guy off, and we'll get him- him first. Okay, where is he going? Nope, stay still. Okay, staying still. Got him. I missed him. Stay still. Got him. Damn it, I missed him. Okay, they're starting to panic. Hold on. Calm down, everybody. And they're all going to the trees. God damn it. Oh my god, I could. I can do. Why didn't it let me before? God, I'm an idiot. All right, let's go. Come on, do it quickly. So why is it that um, Lily, whatever her name is, why is it that she's in all of them? Like, is she like the Cabot Finch for this? Like, they could have implemented Cabot Finch or something. They could have made him like semi canon Oh my God, wouldn't that be the coolest thing to see in like Jurassic World Dominion? Like him being revealed to be canon. Oh, that would that'd be so cool, but also so weird. I wouldn't say no to it if I'm being honest, but eh, whatever. Okay, so Gallimimus is happy, Paras are happy, and we'll just put this as complete force right here. And then we need to go all the way over here and um send this lovely helicopter to go and shoot these guys. It's insane. And speaking of, wow, that helicopter, that guy needs a raise and $5,000 plus for a Christmas bonus because look at that. He got him here quick. All right, status check on this fine specimen, which, if I recall, aren't these the male versions? Missing force. Well, that's obvious. And tall nut. Can you. F the tall nut should be over here. 
Okay, so we'll get more tall nut right over here. You know, just on the edge. Yeah, yeah, Parasaurolophus is fine. Okay, come on. Give him all he needs. Uh. Oh, they'd never... Why didn't they check this guy? Go check him, you bloody idiot. Well, truth be told. Remove from the park. They're not even in a park. But they all are getting sick, so we're just gonna, you know, tranquilize every single one. Uh, no I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> that just sound- He sounded way too happy with that. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so you. And then... Come on, hurry up. Uh, okay, so... Well, we can't do Spinosaurus now, so what's after this? Don't tell me, like... Honestly, I don't know. Do I want this over, or do I want it to continue? I can't believe- Like... I, I don't even know what to say for this campaign. Like, is it, like, interesting to see, like, w how they did it? Yes, but they could have done so much more. Like, I would have liked if, like, we were only supposed to stay in the Jeep. Like, if that's all we did. Like, we just go into, like, the forest and stuff, and all we do is literally every single spot we can, we find a dinosaur, we have to tranquilize it and survive at the same time. Like, wouldn't that be better, guys, if we just did that? Like, just think about it. All we do is just go out and we look for the dinosaurs and tranquilize them. Like, this is kind of boring, because realistically, all you're doing is moving a dinosaur from one spot to another, and then, you know, after that, you just make them comfortable for five seconds, and then you kick them out as soon as they're happy. Because, like, with the speed up, it just, like, do it for ten seconds, and then you're good. Ugh, thank God I'm seeing Spider-Man No Way Home after this because... Goddamn the... Wait. What? Where's the phone? <laughs> Trophy earned. Where's the phone? So... Oh, cutscene. So our first Chaos Theory finished! Yes! That was a little... There's the aviary! No, go back! No! I didn't even get to see... Oh my god, I'm an idiot! Oh, Biorannosaurus, you don't belong there. For the masses. Anyone can create a park, but it takes genius to create a world. <laughs> Jurassic World! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so that was it. Uh, what to say? What to say? Um... Well, first of all, it's our first Chaos Theory that we have 100% complete. We haven't completed Jurassic Park. We haven't completed, um, where to go? I think my game glitched, but whatever. So, what to say? Well, it was sad. Let's just go with that. There was no uniqueness. It it basically is the exact same as Dress Park 3. It was boring as heck. Like, of all the ideas they could have done, like, the idea was interesting, like, collecting the dinosaurs, but it's not really a what-if, which is what this whole Chaos series is supposed to be. Like, Jurassic Park's what-if is, what if you were able to open Jurassic Park, which isn't really that great, but still, it's a what-if. San Diego is what if you were able to make San Diego a success, unlike Peter Ludlow. It is a what if. Return to Isla Nublar, I don't know what it is because I can't really look on it. And Jurassic World, like Jurassic Park, what if Jurassic World didn't fall apart? Those are all what ifs. Isla Sorna isn't a what if. Like, it's what happened in the franchise. So, honestly speaking... I would say it it's definitely going to be at the bottom of the list when I rank all these. But for so far, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park San Diego, and Sorna, I would say it's Jurass San Diego number one, Jurassic Park two, and Jurassic Park three. Well, three. And the only reason is because 
Jurassic Park's the last bit has stretched so long, and because I spent two hours trying to synthesize a frickin' T-Rex, which is why I didn't do the final episode before any of these. But, in conclusion, guys, it was it, it could have been a lot more. Like Jurassic Park 3, I guess, which, I guess, in a way, to stay faithful to the movie, it, it works, but... Ugh, it, it doesn't work at the same time, so... All in all... It, it was, it was I, I don't know what to say, honestly. I'm just going to wrap it up here. And, you know, we're going to... Next up is Jurassic World and then Fallen Kingdom. And let me know, guys, if you want me to finish. Like, I'm probably not going to finish San Diego because I know what's left. I've already seen what's left. All we have to do is reach four stars. That's all that's left for me right now. Because, like, off camera, like, when I was getting a thumbnail, I completed the last mission that we were on. And it was just, like, you know, then it jumped to get four stars. So, I probably don't want to do that. But for Jurassic World especially, I may do that completely. Plus, in between that, I'll do, like, my first sandbox series. Which will probably be making my own Jurassic World. Because... I haven't seen what their version of Jurassic World looks like, so who knows. But, anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video of Jurassic Park 3, the full playthrough, where the Spinosaurus got ripped off, definitely, I agree with that. It was cool, a cool reference to the deleted concept, but the whole, oh, we'll use the Spinosaurus for Jurassic World, yeah, no, that that's a poor joke, and... Honestly, the worst thing about this was Mizrani, because, like, it sounds nothing like him, I'm sorry to say. Like, it's a, sh it's a shame that the actor who played him died. I can't remember how to pronounce his name. I know it's Ifran Khan, I believe, something like that. But, I don't know. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And until Jurassic World, Chaos Theory, I'll see you later. Bye bye